thoughts on my Intel Core i3-7100U with the Intel HD620 integrated graphics, running with 16GB of RAM in DDR3 memory, dual channel memory mode, and as you can see, we're right now running at 960 by 540 on the lowest preset. I'm not leaving from this spot until I hit st at least 30 FPS. So 960 by 540 ain't cutting it. Unfortunately, I had to go all the way down to 640 by 480 in the Intel HD 4600 video. I feel like this will be the case as well. You know, this isn't the worst. Let's let's go. You know what? Let's go. Let's go. This isn't the worst. This isn't the worst, guys. This isn't the worst. A game where my CPU isn't the bottleneck for damn once. Listen, I just came back from recording three games people. back to back and all of them had CPU all bottlenecks. Years, Ridiculous 100% CPU bottleneck. Sight. Seeing this like this and not at 100% is, is a piece of mind for me right hey, now, bro. Excuse me. It just makes me happy inside because the i3 7100 u sucks. It. it only has 2.4 MHz. It doesn't have a boost clock, so everything is a bottleneck. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. It's quite unfortunate, to be honest with you. Hey, hit 30 FPS. Mission accomplished. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind. I just caught myself. Did I lower down this? Oh, crap. I wonder if you guys could have heard me just now. I don't know if you heard me. Holy crap. Unfortunate. There's just written music in this game. Holy crap. I didn't even know that. They told me I imagined it. I haven't played far enough, I suppose. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Well, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget please give a like, comment, help? subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. As you know, my channel, man, just to show you guys how the games to get the games running, man. And some of them annoy me. <laughs> Unfortunately, this the, the, the it's just it's not the Intel. The Intel 620 is actually quite good. I it's unfortunate it's part of the i3, which you is a bottleneck on, on almost mind. every year in my entire brother, life play. Dylan. And you can't do much of a CPU bottleneck, like, especially not this one that doesn't even have a boost clock. It's crazy. You're really gonna run yourself into trouble here. Shit. So we're trying 9cc by 540 still. Um, shit, it's shit, running shit. quite well. But this is probably a 640 by 480 you want title. Me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? I kinda thought this would be better with dual channel memory. I remember running this oh, beforehand. This place. But. Where am I? The void is the. This is the only place where I'm gonna get this 30 FPS on average, huh? Unfortunate. After I get the weapon, I'm going to. I'm actually gonna go out and drop it to 640 by 480 and hope for the best. This is being run by a capture card as well, so keep that in mind. So this is how the game actually plays. If you have a better CPU though, you may get an extra frame or two. The CPU really is a limiting factor here. I, I mean it guys, I really mean it. It's bad, it's real bad. Okay, now I have a gun. You like how I let him walk into the bullet on the last one? Wanna see me do it again? Bro, I don't know, man. I, I'm really happy that this is more GP. CPU intensive and CPU intensive. I guess the last few games I just played were just way more CPU heavy. Kind of unfortunate that I'm not playing the game with the same test all at once. I'm gonna need you to leave. Oh crap, they got guns now. I wield the gun. All right, so we've, we've seen that. We've seen that. It's time to drop it down to 640 by 480 and see if we can get some extra performance out of this damn gum. We're not even.
We're not even going to do the whole 640 by 800 by 600 because that ain't going to be much better. Let's see, 640 by 480, guys. That is a lot better. And I knew I did that because I knew when we got here it was going to get really bad. I knew when we got here it was going to get really, really bad. Died. The hotline. Secure line of communication. And here we are once again running into a CPU bottleneck. I've carried it down too far. As you can see, the bottleneck is starting to hit it to the point where this is performing worse than the Intel 600 did. The hotline. That's the dead man. It's insane. It's insane. Shot from where am I getting shot from? Oh, what you doing over here? With this? Oh, that was a headshot. Nice. That was a headshot. me earlier the hiss burrowing into everything in this place is the hiss your enemy all right it's our enemy guys the i shouldn't be doing contagious. this it burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over i ain't gonna lie this is literally playing just like the Oh crap, he killed me way too fast. Holy crap. I died way too fast there. I am a bit frustrated though. The CPU really is bottlenecking me here. It's running almost the exact same as the Intel HD4600 because of that CPU bottleneck. It's insane. Like I'm actually watching it, the Intel HD4600 video I did, and I'm watching this. Obviously, it wasn't in such an intense area with the 4600, but crazy, nonetheless, because I remember playing it beforehand. I, it, it's doing rough. It's doing really rough. Like it's like I'm hanging in there, champ, kid, and I ain't going too well. It ain't going swell at all. I'm like, oh damn. Well, put some respect on my name, homie. And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh. Okay, but I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed that nonetheless. I know you guys have some low-end systems out there. So this is what a CPU bottleneck looks like. It is painful. Almost every game I tested today had a bottleneck like that, which is crazy. The Intel i the Intel i3 7100U is no bueno. Get the i5 7200U, please. It'll save your life one day. I promise you. Until next time.